All right, everybody, Paul Stetsowitz with Weeks Aircraft doing a mechanics corner update on the Seversky P35. And in the last episode, we removed the engine off of the fuselage. This bracket thing that yeah. slides in there, it's just like tight there. That's it. That's it. That came out now. <laughs> Fuselage off the center section. And the fuselage is now in the rotisserie stand, so we can easily work on that. That's good. Do you have a walkway there? Next step in the process is putting the outer wing panels into the fixture stand so Rick can start uh, drilling apart the wings, removing skins checking for damage and seeing what he has to do and the process of getting those wings put back together again. All right, so what we're going to do, guys, is we'll slide we need out. A, uh, we need a fourth person though. Yeah, Andrea's on the way. Um, we're going to slide out of the fixture, go here, I'm going to set it on this cradle. Hopefully line it up and just slide the bolts in. Let me that in. Got it. So, cart. See if we get lucky enough to roll this up to it, guys. And out just a little bit, Paul. Slide it in to me, to me, Paul, and go out a little bit. Supposed to be this far out. Yep, out a little bit more. And Andy, push the top, the half into the wing. Hold on. I'll have to let go to do that. One with a note on it, and the next is just a couple of threads. Starting to get reasonably uncomfortable. Starting to get what? Reasonably uncomfortable. I think I got most of the Yes. Okay. Okay, you're good, guys. Do you have a thing you can put out? So today I'm going to go ahead and start on the P35 wing uh, skin removal. I'm going to drill off his uh, bottom skins. I've got everything locked in pretty good with the fixtures to where I think everything's secure. So this wing seems to be totally on damaged or taken apart at any point, so I'm going to utilize everything inside to give me any information I need to do the left wing. So that's where we're at today. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is drill out the, start drilling out the skins on the bottom of the right wing of the P35. Um, I'm going to pay attention to a couple things as it comes apart. One thing is, is as I drill out the rivets, I want to make sure they're not spinning out before they're supposed to and thoughts of maybe there's corrosion in the rivet which could lead to possibly being corrosion between the skin and the structure so I'm going to try to pay attention to that as it comes apart I made notes as to what rivets are where so I make sure that they go back the same way um, so with that being said I'm going to go ahead and start drilling to see if we can uh, um, make some progress Ha <laughs> ha! 
me moving the drill as I go. What I'm doing is centering myself on the rivet. I'm one drill smaller than the rivet head. Just to get myself started, I'll come back and hit that with a right size drill bit and it'll pop right off at that point. <clears throat> stay centered so I'm not damaging any of the structure inside so I'm not sure if they went with a 455 or the 456 rivet here so what I've done is I've gone to the next size smaller drill in case they did go with a larger headed rivet the 455 um, I'll know more when I pop a few of them off if that's the case then I'll know and then I'll up myself to a larger correct size drill if that is the case and it went with a 456 which would be the smaller head. The rivets been shot and swelled in the hole so I'm basically removing the head of the one side that's holding it in to the hole once I've removed that then I take a punch sometimes you find yourself using the drill to drill them out preferably when you're dealing with some of this area you probably better just use the punch so you don't risk damaging the holes once the head's removed then I can pull the skin off as the piece comes apart then you just knock out all your bucktails at that point on the vise or on the bench It'd be a little easier to get to and that's probably what I'll do with most of these so objective is to get the skins off assess the inside Someone's been in here already. So that's good. No, no signs of corrosion under here. It's all primer. Looks good. I think someone has been in here before, certainly in this section here. That's why I was taking my time taking it off. Try not to punch through in case they had wallowed out some holes I didn't add to it. It looks pretty good. Off to the next skin. I was able to remove the skin okay. Took my time with it, not knowing what was behind it. Everything looked good. I'm gonna to continue to remove what skins are on the bottom. And then at some point, start making them and storing them up on the shelf to um, have them for when I'm ready to put them on. After that, to take off the big one and then inspect the wing and see what we got to deal with inside. Rick is going to start removing skins off the uh, top of the wing and as those come off of course he's going to assess the damage and pieces that have to be replaced and 
in the process of doing all that and the next uh, update, we're actually going to show you uh, one piece or one skin that he's going to remove. And we're going to take you through the whole process of replacing that skin. That is taking the skin off, laying it out, making the skin, drilling the holes, dimpling the skin, priming it. All the work that goes into making that one part. So stay tuned. Make sure you watch that update. And thanks for watching.